2021 marks 83 seasons of Colorado College Tiger hockey, but the first under head coach Chris Mayotte. And then if you don't have that opportunity, if it's an odd man rush, we don't have our gaps, okay, we're just trying to keep the puck to the outside as best we can. Representing one of the most successful programs in the history of college hockey, the CC Tigers have always had the hearts of the Colorado Springs community, but what they haven't had is a place to call their own. Every one of the first 82 seasons have been spent competing on ice everywhere but their own campus. That is about to change, as the program with more than 1,200 wins and 20 NCAA tournament appearances finally has a place to call home. We don't have time to be average at a practice, okay? We're building towards something, all right? Big step of that, going into our home. We're walking up. Let's go see it, fellas. I think it's going to be everything, you know, trying to get the new recruits going. And the, if you if you see this building, you, you're going to feel appealed to coming here because you have the great campus. It's it's on campus now. You don't have to travel to it. That, that's an amazing thing. You, you have everything that you could ever ask for in a college. Get on in there. Hey, so the big thing to remember is, is G in our tiger, right, is gratitude, okay? And you guys get an opportunity that a lot, every player that walked here before you wish they had, right? The opportunity to play on campus at Colorado College. And this is, this is your new home, right? And so you guys, in terms of what we've done so far, you've put in a ton of work, okay? But gratitude means you work for this every day. Right? And you remember the people who came here before you. We got some of the names up over the stalls right now. Okay? And it's the, the most rewarding thing for, for us as a staff kind of with this whole project is understanding who all has been involved in it. And it's not just ex-hockey players. Right? It's the entire community that, that has kind of stepped up and made this a reality. Okay? And so, Really, it's a spot for you guys to feel like you can, you can give everything you have to, to what you love to do, right? And what we can do together, right? And this building, this locker room shows that there's no limit to what Colorado College can accomplish, right? And that's our, that's our burden, right? That's our responsibility. But that's why we're, we're grateful for it, because we get the opportunity to go out and be great, okay? And there's nothing in our way anymore, okay? There's no excuses. We have everything we need to be champions. And that's our goal. And that's what we'll work for every day. Every day you walk in here, you're gonna see names of all the guys who are here before you, all the people that made this a reality, okay? And make sure you're very intentional on in how you walk in and you respect everything that happened here. And then you go and you earn it, right? And you make everybody who had a part of this proud, right? And then they're grateful that they gave the opportunity because you guys took advantage of it. That's the best locker room I've ever, ever seen. Like, uh, I mean, I've seen some other great facilities in college hockey, but like that's, it's unbelievable. I mean, even walking in like the lounge, the suite area was spectacular. And we thought like that couldn't be topped. And then we, we slide that door open and we see those, those sweet new black jerseys. Black's always been like my, my favorite jersey we wear. And just that everything about that room, it's, it's intimate and it's, it's beautiful. I think it's, 
it's perfect. Honestly, just sitting there looking around at all of our teammates, finally in our spot. Um, it honestly just kind of gives me the chills thinking about it, but just hearing him talk and what this coaching staff's done for us already and um, all these guys that are surrounding us right now, it's just incredibly special. It's hard to put into words. It's incredible. It's, uh, it's not something that you, you really, you know, you can't really prepare for it. Uh, you try to, you prepare for it as a coach, obviously, with practice plans and uh, in meetings with the guys. But now that we're here and, and to think that, you know, we're, we're going to be stepping on the ice for the first time is, uh, is a surreal feeling. I think it's, it's something I've seen. The, I've seen that building uh, hundreds of times from the concourse and, and from the bench, uh, but I've never seen it from, from on the ice or under that the jumbotron with the Tiger Head logo. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be special. I mean, we've known about this um, since I think 2018 when we both um, were recruited here, and like every morning waking up to them banging banging hammers on the steel and, and starting it from the ground up's been, been pretty cool. This practice is going to be electric. All right, here we go, day one. Pretty cool feeling. I mean, we've we've heard about this place for a long time now, and finally it's a reality. You know, you kind of don't know what to think. You're just kind of living in the moment. You know, I actually just now I took a second. I I was like, wow, I haven't even really looked around out here, and it was all quiet. I got to look around, and it's it's unreal. Three on two, but you got cars working. You got cars working. Ready? We were all a bit like giddy, like nervous and jumpy. And uh, for me personally, I like to just like look around real quick. And it was just like, I know we got in and got to see it last night, but it was phenomenal. Like you look up and you just got to appreciate what you have here. It's it's phenomenal, so. Make sure you're getting food in you, you're getting nutrition in you, you're hydrating, all that stuff. The beauty of having this right here is that you can get in the cold tub, you can roll out, you can stretch, you can put that extra 15, 20 minutes into your bodies so that in the long run it stays with you. It definitely took everyone to get this thing going and we're so grateful for everything that our alums have done and we always we always preach about making sure you remember who came and who you're playing for because you know, this, this school, this hockey program has such a long history that you always have to keep that in mind.